Hello dear viewers, we are starting again our work in the state television company Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. How do the residents of Chavakh transport goods to Eastern Armenia under the new restrictions? The letter of the leader of the Diocese of Artsakh to the Secretary General of the United Nations. The English booklet Armenophobia has been published in the Czech city of Brno. An ancient was held in front of the French Foreign Ministry on the release of Armenian prisoners of war. In Lebanon, about 100 medical centers were closed. Head of who? Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 12 October, the speech of Armenu Hisahagan, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, took place. She referred to the speech of President Mr. Armenia Kabrahamian, in which Mr. President emphasized that the Armenian people of Western Armenia lived in Western Armenia long before Abdul Hamid's actions against Armenians. Because of Abdul Hamid, Western Armenia started to be called Anatolia. The speaker also mentioned that the National Council of Western Armenia condemned all those people who neglect the territory of Artsakh without official permission, being complicit in its occupation by Baku authorities. The speaker also informed that on 17 October, President Armenia Gabrahamian from the UN platform will represent the indigenous people of Western Armenia and the indigenous National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. From 19 August, new regulation for the import goods will be held, including Georgia, came into force in Eastern Armenia. Residents of Akhalkalek, including students who study in Yerevan, transport a large amount of goods. At first, students had no problems with customs clearance. However, the restrictions became stronger in October. Drivers and passengers say that the customs officials have started paying strict attention to the weight of the imported goods, and goods over 10 kg have been banned from crossing the border. Bishop Vortanis Abrahamian, leader of the Diocese of Artsia, sent a letter to the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonia Guterres, in 2024 on the eve of COP29 scheduled in Baku in November. He expressed his concern about the ongoing ethnic cleansing policy of Baku, reminded that the mass deportation in 2023 of Armenians from Artsia, as well as the indifferent attitude of the international community, was really important. Baku continues to hold Armenian prisoners of war in its prisons, which is a violation of the principles of international humanitarian law. The book Armenophobia was published by Professor Ivan Folletti and Margarita Khachanova in Masaryk's University in Brno City, which is dedicated to the topic fine arts, scholarship and colonial policy of Russia at the beginning of the 20th century. I do first note that the roots of Armenophobia appeared in the second half of the 19th century, when Armenian art was deliberately magnalized by the official scientific circles in the Russian Empire. Authors Ivan Follett and Margarita Khachanova tapped to show that the historiographical study of this context, how medieval Armenian art became a tool of Russian imperialist policy. The publication was created within the framework of the Armenian Art and Culture Project. The 127-page booklet is in English. In Paris, in front of the French Foreign Ministry, an action was held demanding the release of Armenian prisoners of war and the military leadership of Artsakh. Ahead of the COP29 to be held in Baku, Armenian youth in Paris demanded the immediate release of all Armenian prisoners of war and military leaders of Artsakh held in Baku. The participants of the action also sent a letter to the French Foreign Ministry demanding pressures on Baku. Five hospitals were closed due to the demand caused by the strikes. 100 of the 207 primary health care centers in Lebanon's conflict-affected areas are closed. Tedros Adhanom Chebreyes, head of the World Health Organization, who announced this on the social network. Chebreyesus detailed that at least 100 people were killed as a result of the attack on medical facilities. The number of injured is increasing. The health care system is struggling to cope with the situation due to limited personal potential and resources at the head of the WHO. Western Armenia Television, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. Dear viewers, as you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion, 
It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia, the present and the future, with political and other context, as well as news that raises various issues. Western Armenia Television recorded one of its most important achievements by launching the Western Armenia Weekly newspaper, which is aimed at the preserving and popularizing our history, culture, and identity. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.